Welcome to part two of the drawing template series. In this video, I will open the SOLIDWORKS software and walk through the steps required to make a customized drawing template. Step one is to take note of where your current templates are located on your computer. To do this, go into your SOLIDWORKS system options. When you click on file locations on the left hand side, it will show you the location that your templates are located in. Click OK. Now let's start a new drawing. To do this, click on the new icon. If your interface looks like this, I highly recommend clicking the advanced button so that you can see all the customized templates you've made. By default, you're always given a part, assembly, and drawing template. I've already made some customized part templates so that when I need to start a part in ANSI millimeters, I can choose this template, or ANSI inches, I can choose this template. Let's start a new drawing template. By default, the drawing does not have any sheets on it, so it prompts you for a sheet format. In the previous video we explained that the sheet format file extension is an SLDDRT. I will choose ANSI landscape and hit OK. I'll cancel out of the command to insert model views. Here we can check the settings that are for this template. The system options will always stay the same. We're only going to be saving settings that are on the Document Properties tab. Currently, my overall drafting standard is set to ANSI. I can check other things such as units. This template is already set to inch pound seconds. I'll make a drawing template that is millimeters and on the ANSI dimensioning standard. Hit OK. It's not required that we have a sheet in our template, therefore I can right click and choose delete. To save a template, go to the file pull down menu, choose save as, change the save as type to drawing template or DRWDOT and give it a meaningful name. Then hit save. Notice that it's saving it in the same location as my current templates. I'll exit this document and start a new one. I now see my new drawing template. When I click on that drawing template, since it didn't have a sheet format saved with it, it prompts me again for a new sheet format. I can now choose any size I'd like. I'll choose C size this time. As I exit out of inserting model views, I'll double check to make sure all my settings are correct. On the Document Properties tab, I can see that it's set to ANSI and see that the units are set to millimeters. I'll hit OK. I can repeat this process as many times as I need for however many drawing templates I need. For example, I could start a new drawing template choose A landscape, hit OK, and since this is already set to ANSI inches, I can save as, change it to template, and give this a meaningful name. and hit save.
just to test it, I'll start a new document and I'll see my new drawing template. ANSI A size inches. As I hit OK, you'll notice that it already has the first sheet inserted into it and I'm not prompted. Thank you for watching part two of our drawing template series.